People often ask the question, why is the world being defrauded, deceived, manipulated, enslaved? What is the root cause? The root cause is the Federal Reserve. The Federal Reserve was created in a secret meeting of political and banking elites at a private resort on Jekyll Island in Georgia 1912. The conspirators attended in seal railway cars and only used their first names so that the servants would have no way of identifying the men. From their own memoirs, these men admitted to their conspiratorial plans. Out of this secret meeting came the most powerful privately and foreign-owned corporation the world has ever known. Through its control of our money, the elite that own the Fed control other banks, assets, corporations, media, politicians, militaries, and ultimately you. The Federal Reserve is the head of the snake, the root cause of the entire enslavement of humanity. The Fed system is designed to imprison us through never-ending debt and fool us into believing our money has value when it is in fact worthless, backed by nothing, based on debt, created out of thin air, recipe for enslavement. And this system was also designed to one day crash. The debt bubble we are currently living in is unimaginably large, and when it bursts, the world is going to experience financial chaos like it has never seen before, and it is only a matter of time. Were it not for this insidious, privately owned organization, we would be living in a completely different world and reality. In the end, things really didn't have to turn out this way. We did not have to adopt a debt-based financial system. We did not have to allow the bankers to enslave us all with debt. But our government allowed this to happen. They gave them the power to issue our currency, ultimately giving them the ultimate power over us. And this was the plan all along. Did you know the sinking of the Titanic led to the creation of the Federal Reserve? As fascinating and as improbable as it may seem, in 1898, a novel called Futility, a creation of Morgan Robertson, detailed the sinking of an unsinkable ship, the largest vessel afloat. This imaginary ship, called Titan, collided with an iceberg during April, resulting in a high loss of life because the ship carried too few lifeboats. Fourteen years later, with uncanny similarities, the ship Titanic recreated what happened in the novel. The two ships had almost identical names, both ships were designated unsinkable, both were touted as the largest ships at sea, both collided with icebergs in April, both resulted in many deaths due to a shortage of lifeboats, both had strikingly similar floor plans and technical descriptions. Benjamin Guggenheim, Isidore Strauss, the head of Macy's department stores, and John Jacob Astor, one of if not the wealthiest man in the world at the time, were all killed when it sank. Those three men were the main opposition to the creation of the U.S. Fed. By April 1912, all opposition to the Federal Reserve was eliminated. In December 1913, the Federal Reserve was born, controlled by the elite banking cabal, whose ultimate agenda is to enslave humanity. Could all this be coincidence? I think we can no longer afford to believe in such illusions. <laughs>